Hey, hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back with another video. And uh, just to let people know, I would like for you all to check and make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that YouTube apparently mass unsubscribed to several people. Uh, and two of them kind of subscribed back and I'm seeing people resubscribe through my notifications. So be sure to check that you're uh, subscribed if you're not subscribed. I would love your subscription, I would love your comment, and I would love your like, and you hit that bell for notification. Those actually help the analytics of the channel and boost us up and uh, let pe more, people, more people see the videos, which is what I like. I like more views. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, what happened in Denver? So I decided, I'd, you know, I decided I'd talk about this because people have stated that they like the gun stuff. They like my opinion on gun stuff. And uh, I decided, you know, might as well just talk about this and give my opinion on this. Um, I've actually talked with people who are in security, guys that did security work in Iraq, Afghanistan. Uh, that's going to come into play here later on in the video. What I'm going to say is right now, whether this guy goes to jail is going to be dependent upon a certain key factor. And that is the can of pepper spray. Uh, apparently, the, init the, the initiative point that I can find legally that happened here was the guy with the gun here on the right <clears throat> of your screen apparently tried to reach for this Trump supporter on the left's can of spray. And uh, that is a no-no because I don't care if you're security. <clears throat> uh, I don't care who you are. The only person who has the legal authority to take away someone else's property are the police if they're initiating an investigation and if they've got a warrant. Okay? I know that doesn't always happen, but in a perfect world, that's how it's supposed to happen. Now, why this guy decided he was going to take the Trump supporters pepper spray, I don't know. There is a video online of a security guard going up there and seizing an AR-15 from an Antifa member. Um, the difference between that situation and this one is the Antifa member had pulled a police issue had pulled a police AR15 out of the back of a burnout police car. In essence, he is stealing a weapon at that point. It is not his property. So therefore the security guard can move in there and if you're actively seeing someone steal something, you probably can respond to them to some extent. You can end up taking it because it's not their property at that point. Property is the the situation is the difference here. It's your property rights. This guy here brought his own can of bear mace. Uh, you're not going to be able to sit there and say that this guy didn't own it. Apparently, it was his can of bear mace. What happens afterward is he reaches for the bear mace. The Trump supporter responds by slapping him across the face, which is the, which honestly is probably the bare minimum response to an attempted mugging, <laughs> which is what this is going to be. Uh, this this whole case, by the way, is going to be a, a a mugging gone wrong. That ended in first degree murder. That that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to come come down to. Because you look at the escalation here. This guy, the guy, the guy that's shooting is the escalation, and this is where you know stand your ground law goes out the window. Because if you, this is another talking point that the left always flips out about with stand your ground laws. Oh, it'll it'll be a justification to murder. Ah, uh, no, it won't. Because it does not matter. Uh, what you say has happened. What matters is what led up to it. You have to reasonably be able to prove that you were in danger and you were not the cause of your danger. Okay? Uh, and by doing that, what I'm saying is, this guy right here, he pretty much, he reaches for the pepper spray. This is attempted theft. He is breaking the law or attempting to break the law. He gets smacked across the face, which the Trump supporter under law is allowed to defend themselves. If it's a stand your ground state, he's allowed to defend himself from him. This guy falls back, starts reaching for his handgun. The Trump supporter realizes he's reaching for a gun and then initiates the pepper spray. My guess is an attempt in an attempt to maybe try to neutralize him before he can get the gun out and get a shot off. Uh, looking at the picture here, I'm guessing that the wind probably pushed most of the pepper spray away from the guy. He wasn't able to actually get him. 
Uh, when you're in this situation and a guy's got a gun, the best option, and I'm, this sounds counterintuitive, but the best option is to engage a wrestling match with the guy. Uh, if, you, if you're in a situation and a guy tries to take something from you like this, trying to spray him with pepper spray is not the best option. This is the point where I think the Trump supporter was trying to retreat from the situation, and that ultimately has gotten him killed. It will work in the favor of getting this guy charged, but for the sake of surviving, I would have, once I saw the gu- once I seen the guy reach for the gun after he tried to take my pepper spray, I'd have come back around and just, I'd have charged him, clocked him over the head, and engaged a fight with him. Better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Okay? And if you close that distance on the dude, you kind of neutralize his ability to use a gun. The idea here is get control of the weapon, keep it away from your body or anyone else's, um, and just try to wrestle the guy down and get his gun from him at that point. Because it's, and I know some people are going to say, oh, you know, Kung, you're worrying about Kung Fu skills. It's, it's not really Kung Fu skills. It's just a very dumb tackle and then try to implement some kind of arm bar or something or just get control of the weapon and twist it out. Uh, <clears throat> because at that point, you are going to get, because retreating like this, this guy intended to shoot, obviously. He walked in there. He looked for an excuse. He found an excuse or instigated an excuse a situation that he believed could excuse his actions, and then he up and shot a Trump supporter. And now he's claiming self-defense. Um, ultimately, like I said, this is going to be charged by the law as a robbery gone wrong. That's what it's ultimately going to come down to. Uh, it's going to be a first-degree murder charge unless shenanigans happen, unless the uh, the courts come out there and go, oh, uh, you know, uh, shenanigans, we're not going to, we're, we're going to just either let the guy go or do something asinine at that but i mean at this point the family is probably from what i understand the trump supporter was out there with his son and i'm pretty sure the family is going to go after this guy so obviously he had a pretty good relationship with his son his son's going to go out there and and start he's going to get revenge for dad that's one of the reasons why kings back in the day would kill entire families off (laughs) because you let the son go he has a tendency to go off get you know, start the training montage begins where he starts learning to use the sword, becoming stronger, gets buff, and then one day he returns and he's like this buff, highly trained killing machine intent on who has one singular focus, and that is the death of the man that killed his family and his father. Uh, you, so now, I mean, the rage of the sun is going to come into play here. He's going to probably push everything legally. But like I said, Depending on the situation, there are, like I said, there are things I would do differently. I'd have charged, if I'd seen the guy go for the gun, I'd immediately engaged uh, a physical wrestling match for it. Uh, most of the time, I'm already carrying, so it's like I'd have probably been trying to flank and use my gun if I was in the Trump supporter situation. The more you know, okay? This is why, this is why most gun owners should study up on self-defense situations, the ones that work and the ones that fail. You can see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, in this situation, having just a can of bear mace was not a good idea. And uh, also, uh, a tactical uh, a plate carrier probably wouldn't have made much sense either because this guy apparently shot and hit him right in the face. So, I mean, honestly, if there's a, a confrontation, this is what I would say. This whole thing could be avoided. Uh, if you want to avoid someone like this, the best thing for you to do, go immediately to the police and say, look, this guy's accostating me. Can you guys, like, he's following me. He's accostating me. I don't know who he is. Can you figure out who he is and everything? By the way, uh, here's my wallet and ID confirming I am who I say I am. And just get this guy and, you know, just get the police to, like, okay, there might be a crime fixing be committed here. We need, to, we need to do something about this real quick. And they'll, they'll just stop the guy. It'll be like dealing with a drunk. They'll, they'll calm him down for a bit, tell him, and if he says, well, I'm a security guard with that, the police will probably remind him, well, you're not doing a very good damn job right now walking away from your charge. Anyway, I'm the Last Raider, folks. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out. Hit that bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.